Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monkey See TV, a safe place for kids and teens. And this is Tara. I am really, really happy to be with you guys today. And when you clicked on this video, yes, you did read that title correctly. There is one absolute 100% guaranteed way for our kids and teens to live longer and happier lives. Um, you did not read that incorrectly. In fact, this old school trick is so amazing that it does not just work for kids and teens. This is for adults. It really does not matter what age you are. It doesn't matter the color of your skin. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. In fact, it doesn't even matter if you're currently a good or bad person. How is that for cool? Okay, so listen carefully. We'll be quick, but it's very, very important. Um, in fact, this trick is so old school that we are gonna have to go back to the Bible. Yes, it even talks about it in the Bible. That's how long this trick's been around. But I think that we just don't pay attention. At some point in our lives, in fact, in my life, even though I was around this all the time, at some point it just clicked. So hopefully for you this morning, you're paying attention and it'll click because I want everyone to do this. Um, let's go ahead and just dive in. We're gonna start at John 3, 16 through 17. And I'll probably little, read a little bit further because I really like the scripture and I think we focus so much on John 3, 16 that we don't go through the whole thing. Um, I'm reading out of the KJV, King James Version Bible. And I'll probably talk about why I do that in another um, video. And this is Jesus talking. If you have a Bible with red letters, the red letters mean those are when Jesus is speaking. Okay. So this is how cool it is. I mean, Jesus is talking about this y'all. Okay. So Jesus is talking about this and saying, this is what it's going to give you a long, happy, peaceful life. I think we need to be listening. Okay. So in John three sixteen, we start, it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, okay, he's not discriminating, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Should not perish, okay? This isn't just living a longer life. This is an everlasting life, eternal, forever. Don't we want that for our children? Don't you want that for yourselves, kids and teens and parents and whoever's watching this? We want this. For God sent his son into the world, not for son to, to condemn. Hold on. Totally messing this up. I got so excited. Okay, let's start over. In John 3, 17, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, that the world through him might be saved. Saved. God didn't send Jesus to come and condemn everybody. So let's see why some people just are not, we're missing this. We're totally missing this easy little trick, okay? He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. Okay, let's listen. That light is come into the world. And men loved darkness rather than the light. Because their deeds were evil. People are not listening because people love darkness rather than the light. Jesus is our light, but they do not know him because they love evil and darkness and there is no light in the, there is no, no salvation in the darkness. Okay. For everyone that doeth evil, hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. If, they, if you love evil and you love what you're doing, you're not going to want to go to Jesus because you hate the light. Let's step away. There is no peace in the evil that we do. There is no peace in our sin. I think sometimes that we, we keep and continue in, in our sin because sin sometimes looks fun. It is not fun. 
It is not fun. We end up feeling hollow. We end up feeling empty. And then what do we do? We dig ourselves deeper in that sin and need more and more to try and fill the void. But somebody came to fill that void that will give us everlasting life. And it's just a choice of us believing, truly believing and following in him. Wow. So powerful. What an amazing, amazing um, truth that kids and teens and we as moms and dads need to be teaching our children. So kids and teens, listen carefully, okay? So let's go into Romans 10, 9. If that wasn't just mind-blowing enough. This is cool stuff, kids, okay? Cool, cool stuff. Romans 10, 9. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus... And shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You shall be saved if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Does this sound too good to be true? I know it sounded like clickbait, but I'm serious, y'all. This is what the Bible is telling us. And I believe it wholeheartedly. And I, the Bible has proved itself over and over again in my life, in the world. I mean, we could go on. That's a whole nother video. Okay. So Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Because there was a time in my life where I would have said I was Christian. Um, but I didn't truly believe. And so you couldn't really, you wouldn't have known from my outside, um, Actions that I was Christian in. and that's important. Okay, so Ephesians 2 8 9 2 8 9 Okay, so let's see In Ephesians 2 8 and 9 it says for by grace are you saved through faith and That not of yourselves. It is the gift of God Okay, so it's not ourselves that is doing this. We do not want to have a selfish attitude. Well, I serve Jesus because I am just so cool and I do everything he wants me to do and that is why he's saving me like <laughs> not the attitude to have okay so it is a gift from God not of ourselves and in verse 9 it goes on to say not of works lest any man should boast okay so it's not our works alone that is going to give us that gift of eternal life. That's not truly believing in God to just, that's really believing in ourselves as a God. <laughs> if we, if we think that we can get ourselves into heaven by doing something. Okay. Let's go. I have two more scriptures. Okay. So bear with me. I have Romans six twenty three, and it, these scriptures are kind of all together in the back of your Bible and I'm totally going the wrong way. So they'll be easy for you to find. Okay, so Romans 6, 23. But if you're having a hard time following along, just pause the video, okay, find the scripture and come back. So we're at Romans 6, 23. Okay, and it says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Okay? The Bible and another scripture also goes on to say that there is one way to heaven, and that is through Jesus Christ our Lord. And that is what this scripture is saying as well. Okay? So there is no different channels to heaven or to eternal life. There is one way through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus Christ was sent to give us that communication with God and to step in our place and to replace our sins. And that is very, very important, okay? It is not of our own works. It is through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let's look up 2 Corinthians 5, 17, because I think this one's important. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Okay. How do you know? Someone says, oh, I was born again. But you see them and they're drinking and they're smoking and they're just living it up in their sin. They don't care. They love it. Okay. It looks like darkness. Looks like darkness. Walks like darkness. It's probably darkness. It's 
So, right? We, we heard that darkness hates the light. Um, we want to be the light, right? Okay, so let's look at this. 2 Corinthians 5.17. And I think, I mean, I, I've lived here before. I've lived in this before where I was sane. I was Christian. But remember it said that we have to believe in our heart. That part was totally missing from my life. Okay. 2 Corinthians 5. Uh, 17. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, okay, if any man be in Christ, let's see what it says next. He is a new creature. A new creature. What does that mean? Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. And all things, I'm going to read 18 now, and all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by who? By our good works? No. By Jesus Christ and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. That is amazing. And what did it say? How would we know if we're truly believing, if we're really, if we are really truly saved and believe in our hearts that Jesus Christ is Lord and we are going to give our lives to God in that way and follow Jesus. It says that we will become a new creature. Old things have passed away. If we truly believe, we're not going to be continuing in our sin. Now, we might struggle and we might sin and then we go to God um, and repent. But we do not just have fun and, and live and enjoy in our sin. We are a new creature. Old things have passed away. So this is amazing. This has been around, I mean, forever. God is telling us that we can live forever if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. And we will be made a new creature. We do not want, we want to push those old things away. So kids... And teens and moms, if you're with me, we, we need to be teaching our kids this. Why are we not wanting our kids to have eternal life, our whole family together, to have this peaceful life when things are going wrong around you? You have the peace of the promise of the living God. So I hope that you have had a good study with me today. Please um, support our family channel. Subscribe, like, comment. Um, ask us questions. Of course, I am not, um, I do not profess to be a pastor. I just work in children's ministry. And um, so ask me questions and I will do my best to answer. If you need a Bible, please, please, please um, download an app on your phone. Use your computer. Usually any dollar store, the dollar stores in our area will carry KJV Bibles. If all that fails and you cannot find a KJV Bible anywhere, message us and I will do my best to get you one. Okay? So like, share, comment, subscribe. Love y'all. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Bye.